Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Roulette. In this series, MBT and I each spin a wheel featuring every secret pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. We then build decks using only 20 of those secret packs before playing a match to determine that episode's winner. The winner of each episode gets to decide if they want the first or second secret pack from the wheel during the next episode, but they must choose before seeing what the second spin lands on. Tune in every Saturday at 5pm Eastern for more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Roulette. Today's video is once again sponsored by longtime channel supporter Ridge Wallets. Some of you might know this already, but I've been using a Ridge Wallet for a few years now, and honestly, I can't really imagine going back at this point. If you're looking to upgrade your own wallet, or perhaps gift a friend or family member a wallet for the holidays, look no further than Ridge Wallets. There's over 30 different colors and styles to choose from, including fan favorites like Carbon Fiber and Forged Pacific. Each Ridge Wallet can hold up to 12 cards, and they have a money clip on the back for carrying cash. Ridge wallets are also made of durable, long-lasting materials, so each one comes with a lifetime warranty. Ridge also has these cool new key cases for carrying your keys that can even match your wallet. If you're interested in picking up a Ridge wallet or any of the other great products from their website, make sure to use my link at ridge.com dz because now through December 22nd, you can save up to 40%. Thank you, Ridge, for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to another episode of Master Roulette. Today, we are going to be spinning a wheel that has like two thirds of the secret packs on it. We're we're actually making pretty good progress. I yeah, tell you. like I feel like I can read the text now. None of the uh, letters are overlapping each other, which is a big improvement. Okay, I'm here telling we go. you, I'm looking for that Alba Abyss, but I'm also kind of looking for that yearning evil body. That's, that's well, you're going one. to get interdimensional interlopers, which I am right. just praying is aliens. <laughs> You're praying so that I give it to you? Oh, jeez. What is it? It is Dream Mirror, Metaphys, and Nemesis. Mmm. So, was that one that you were going to keep, you think? Or so There's a couple of things that are actually really screwing this up. Um, yeah. Number one is that, for some reason... Light imprisoning and shadow imprisoning mirror are oh, in this. Mirrors, yeah, so that if makes the sense. The other one is a chaos typing, you could just lose. Oh, um, interesting. Yeah. But what rarity are those cards? They're rares. They're just rares. Just rares. Uh the two Morpheuses, which are pretty good cards, are just rares. I feel confident saying that this. These archetypes suck so uh, much that you can have them. You can enjoy these. Okay. I'm actually going to think about that. I think that's an interesting gamble doing the uh, the light and dark mirrors, but we'll see. We'll I see. think it's an interesting Especially because now I get to see what pack you get. <laughs> Champions of Salvation. Oh, Salvation. That sounds like a light archetype, I feel like. <laughs> right? That's like, be... like Champions of Salvation. You're like, this has got to be bad. Oh, wow. What are we working with here? Yeah, so Champions of Salvation was released in January of 2020. This set includes the Constellars, including a card that would beat the Dream Mirror meta, Satellar Knight Constellar Diamond. In this series, <laughs> I'll be opening 20 packs of this, and you'll be losing to Rank Force. <laughs> Is oh, it just, just Constellar too? It's just Constellar. Just Constellar. Oh, it is... man. Light. You take Light Imprisoning Mirror Pack, I will legitimately beat you with, like, Virgo Beatdown. But, like, the, uh, aren't the, the Neps cards, like, uh, isn't Wing Blast in that set? It's, like, a common? Stellar? No, in the other pack. Isn't it, it, it Sacred Phoenix stuff was in there? Oh. Uh, or no, what, so what three Metaphys, archetypes did he say? Methodist. Oh, Metaphys. Ah. Like, ones that you have to banish and they come back. Yeah, and yeah. You, um, listen, I'll just help you out here. You got to re-roll, buddy. Yeah, that we're shit is not gonna No, I was just going to say, I feel like the tricky part there is that, like, all the archetypes in the pack are also <gasps> light and dark. So... Oh, oh shit! You <laughs> did it! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God. All right. Let's see. There's a lot of fucking hollows in this pack, though. So yeah, I feel like I can... go really good or really bad based on your pulls, oh, which is what, man. you know, what we in the business like to call you better not skip past the pulls. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. Okay, okay. This it's is gonna, gonna be, be an episode. I'm really for this one. Good luck with your pulls. Now, what Doug doesn't know is the Dream Mirror is actually the most. <laughs> Can't even do that with a straight face. 
Oh, jeez. I think this is going to be a really good one. That Albaz pack is interesting. Fallen of Albaz is high rarity, so if you don't pull that, it does kind of fall apart. But if you do, you're, like, kind of gaming. Uh, nothing interesting there. Two hollows out of the gate. Um, yeah, Deneb is uh, the best card in the set. That's perfect. We're looking for Altair. Uh, but Satellar Nova Alpha is pretty good, too. This is an Omni if you have a Satellar Knight, and it pluses you a little bit as well. Feeling good already. So, a uh, weird part about this pack is I actually don't care too much about if there's uh, hollows or not in my packs. That's because what we really want is just a bunch of fours. Uh, Capella's fine. Kaos is actually really, really good. Kaos opens up a lot for us. Uh, I'd like to pull at least one more copy of that. Uh, Satellar Knight was actually playable before they got the good cards just by using Kaos to go into Pleiades. So, we'll just try and do that. Um, Bat, you know. Two Seat, you shouldn't have. You really should not have. Oh, did we pull a Moon Mirror Shield? That's unbelievable. I mean, legitimately crazy. Okay, we did pull a four. Uh, this one is fine, but uh, we're obviously looking for the better ones. Like that one. That one right there is crazy. Wow. That one's not bad either. Wow. <laughs> Uh, we might play Spike Shield with Chain if we're really down bad. A Knuckle Eye, very good. Uh, Varsleg is not terrible. Uh, it, it's got like a, a really big ass on it, and it does bounce cards. We might even play Temperance if we're down extremely bad. Uh, that's all fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> Someone's been watching my videos. Oh, Tiki Curse. That's Tiki Curse is actually a card. I will play Tiki Curse. Holding Arms is not. We need some Vegas. We only have the one Vega so far. We need uh, two more of that. Ooh. There he is, baby. Yep, that's the end of the game. Uh, so it's funny that they made Altair a rare and uh, Deneb a, uh, a super because you only need the one that Deneb. You need three Altair. Hmm. Uh, okay. Hmm. Bad pack. Wrong. Oh my god, we, we're pulling like a pretty crazy evil swarm core as well. Uh, Wabaku, very good card. Very, very good in rank 4 strategies. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, it came out. Can we end on a hollow? Oh, we really can end on a hollow. Uh, if we pull any decent synchros, that's not bad. Ugh, Pollux, that's our first Pollux, actually. We want a lot of those. Yeah, that's the end of the game. Okay, here we are with 20 packs of Elba Abyss. It's kind of crazy. This set was only released like three weeks ago. Oh, that is just what I want to see. Yeah, so this pack is pretty high rolly. Um, if you don't pull a ton of hollows, it's going to be tough to play. But there are a ridiculous amount of great rares as well. But uh, the hollows are really good. To Wait, wasn't that a hollow pack? baited I guess but uh, there are a lot of really good cards in this set not a ton of monsters but um, the rares in particular are great and uh, as we've talked about before or as people have told us actually um, you always pull a rare at the very end of the pack a rare or a higher so rares can actually be easier to pull than commons um, and we did see the branded opening there which is great Dogmatic Punishment, by the way, is a crazy rare, obviously, um, especially in this pack just because we can already I mean we already have like a sprint right Brandon and Red, great pickup. <laughs> Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Okay, that's pretty funny. I think by the time that this video airs, uh, I'll have just posted a video about that card, which is funny. Should we use that? I don't know. That card's actually not terrible. Well, against uh, Satellar Knight, it's probably pretty bad. Summoner's Art. Uh, okay. Ooh, now that one. Isn't Constellar Diamond a dragon or no? What type is Constellar Diamond? I mean, this card's, yeah, this is good. Remember that we do have three Palmerizations in our uh, roulette collections. Warrior? It's a worm. Okay, I knew it was something different. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yup, there's Ecclesia. Second uh, branded opening as well. Quick draw Synchron, honestly not terrible if we have a way to use it, but second branded in red as well. No Guardian Chimera in this set. Um, so we can't really do crazy combos with that, but it's fine, it's fine. There's a lot of good ultras. Oh, it's from the pack. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, we do need Fallen of Albaz, that is true. Um, okay. <gasps> Brandon Fury. 
Fusion. Oh my gosh, what rarity is a Luber? If we could just pull one copy of a Luber, we already have like multiple copies of opening. Elbeds is a super. A Luber is a super? Okay. Branded Banishment. I don't actually know what this one does. Oh, okay. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. So with Elbaz, um, yeah, we really need to pull that. But the Dragon version is actually only a rare, so we could pull that as well. <gasps> Constellar V Constellar. A lot of hollows from outside the pack. Oh, Punishment. Good pickup. Doom, kind of funny. Branded in white. This card is not terrible. Wow, this is really funny. We could just summon this against, uh, well, we don't have any fiends to reveal. Or do we? I don't know. Pretty good first 10 packs. Gonna need to pull some more hollows though. Okay, so uh, it looks like no rainbow packs at all. Um, so Pleiades and Tolmy M7, Constellar Diamond and Triver are the ultras. Triver we actually don't really need. Triver was historically very good. Uh, with like all of those continuous traps that could be bounced to the hand for more advantage. But I do really want bridge. Uh, oh my God, bridge is not in here. Oh, it is, it's a super. That was wrong. Uh, that's our third Altair, that's great. Sombra is not a terrible card. It's um Evil Swarm Kirk Yoen, I believe. Capricious Dark Lord. Uh, Sassy Rookie's not bad. Second Kaos, that's really important. Mm, no. Switch your Ruru. Okay. No more Altairs. Uh, okay, I said that and then just got one. Uh, second Vega, important. Mm, we might play Yellow Star. I said enough with the Altairs. We need third Vega. Sure. Uh, okay. Awful. Yeah, that's insane. That's unbelievable. Enough with the Altairs. I've got enough of them. Oh, that could be Delteros. Here we go. Da 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 da. Not. Quite my tempo. Mm. <gasps> Yo! Royal Deneb! <laughs> That's such a nice royal! Oh my god, Doug is going to shit. Oh. I, need, I want that third Vega very badly. That Abyss uh, Actor is going to be important, though. I've <laughs> never seen this card in my life. Uh, Del Terros is a good pickup. Um, okay, we're one Vega short, but uh, everything else is just insane. Just absolutely unbelievable. Better than I could have ever hoped for. Um, I think that there is... I mean, I don't know how Doug's pulls have been going, but this is I've, this is the most confident I've felt in a long time. Ten more packs. Where is Albaz? Okay, a few hollows, a few hollows. Looked like that was um, three URs, I think. Dogu. Another copy of that. Um, oh my gosh. So many ultra rares, but not a lot of like actual good ones. Like we, we keep pulling them from outside the pack, which is kind of awkward. But that's what happens. It's okay. Another opening. Nothing too crazy there. I think we got our play set of opening. Yeah, really looking for a Luber. Really looking for any extra deck monsters. Really looking for... Oh, oh my gosh. So many hollows from not the pack. Oh, Topologic's crazy. Another Ecclesia, very good. Oh my, what the fuck? <laughs> what, this pack was crazy. Like, honestly, one of the craziest packs I've seen. Tactics is kind of not great against him. Oh wait, he's playing Constellar, right? Not Satellar. It's Constellar, right? Third punishment. <gasps> Elbaz! Okay, Elbaz. 
We're good. A luber. A luber right here. It's it's the Aluber episode. Give me Ice Jade 2 if you're feeling kind. Okay, that's fine. Ultra from the pack. From the pack. Come on. Come on. From the pack. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. This could be anything. Almost every... I mean, every single Ultra Rare is good, right? Except for another copy of the one that we pulled. Not Ice Jade. Oh, because it'd be kind of hard to... Uh, Aluber's not in this pack. What? Welp. We'll just open this pack. Back night. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. This card is summonable, not really with branded uh, fusion at the moment because we don't have either one of like the cards that we could. We don't have the Miracle Fusion one. We don't have Rubellion. Um, but still, don't have this. Maybe we'll just pull a Luber from outside the pack. I mean, at least we can brand infusion for the, uh, whatever the new one is called. Floodgate Trap Pool is great. Um, yeah, can't make that. Normal Albaz and two Xyz. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of tough because, like, yeah, there's only the one Albaz. But we do have, like, Ecclesia and, like, Punishment and... <gasps> what? Last pack Lubellion? Still no Aluber, but we actually can just summon Ice Jade. Let's get to deck building. All right, well, it's Teller Knight. This is almost constructed quality. We're missing all the continuous traps that the deck historically played, but I think that's going to be resolved by, you know, Doug not having too much that we actually need to negate. We pulled three Altair, two Deneb. One of them was Royal, insane. Double Vega, uh, and then we've got just a bunch of fours. Alsam, uh, Onukali, Sirius. Procyon, Capella, we even got like Curtain Razor and Varsleg, which are fours that do weird corner case stuff. Pollux, Caster, uh, Algeity, and Siot. I mean, uh, I, I don't think that Doug even has an out for Satellar Knight Alpha in his deck. So, you know, look looking forward to it. Okay, here is our deck. We have spent quite a bit of time here building this. There were a lot of options. Um, one area where we didn't really have that many cards was the monsters because the pack doesn't really have that many main deck monsters. So we've kind of had to add a bunch of like really bad or really awkward 1800s. But other than that, I think this deck looks really good. We have like 15 ways to revive Elbaz. And once one Elbaz is in the graveyard, that is huge because we can use it to summon it on our opponent's turn using our revival cards. And then we can go into like sprint as an interruption. We also do have some pretty funny combos in here like tactics into a uh, constellar m7 if we can actually get that to work and i think that this should be okay but obviously if we don't draw any monsters it's going to be a tough week unfortunately we did not play any branded opening because there are no despia monsters in this pack but uh, i think we should still have a pretty good time let's get into the duels though oh you got the white baking that's a great one Ooh, first or second um i think i need the extra card yeah i think that i need to set Satellar Nova Alpha, so <laughs> I think we both got what we wanted. Wait, here. are you playing Satellar Knights or Constellars? Are they both in the same pack? It's the same deck. Oh, well, it's not the same deck, but I mean, they're, I guess, Teller Knights, but. <laughs> Actually, it's not the same deck. Yeah, it's really not <laughs> it's the same deck. Of you. Ooh, this is, uh, this is a rough one. Um, You already did the Starry Knight? Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess you're always just. Nice. Yeah, burn for a thousand. I, I gotta tell you, Starry Knight, the most fun that I've ever had in a solo mode. I really love that deck. I played that for a video. It's, it's fun. <laughs> Can you possibly beat Alzheim Pass? Like, truly, I don't think so. Uh, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't for a moment. Um, <laughs> But... Oh, this is kind of interesting. This is kind of interesting. Um, Because I feel like I can't just let you... Hmm. Normal summon a second time? Yeah. I'll normal summon. Why not? Us. Oh my god, you have him! I have him! You do have him. I do. Right, I mean, real. Yeah. Attack. But you're not activating him. Oh, good. I was I was hoping you would pull him because this pack really does not do a lot if you don't have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's a target that you could make with the. Uh, oh, okay. There. Yeah, yeah. It's a light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and there's nothing. I would have. No any, I don't have anything to banish. So I don't know if that's like a play. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Go Ooh, ahead. okay. We are we are gonna be playing some. We're gaming. We're gaming today. 
Uh, one thing I did not know about this pack that was a little bit sad because um, I got really excited when I kept pulling branded opening was that this pack does not have a Luber, which I find kind of weird. There is no Luber of Duber in here, no. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's kind of like the Dama lot. thing in TCG. Right, Alte or? Yeah, yeah. It's a rare for some reason. Pick a thousand. Yeah. Broken. Alright, let's uh, activate Constellar Star Chart. <laughs> this card is not ideal. It's not great. And oh, then okay. I guess, you know, sure, let's make a... Uh, like Omega? One of my favorites. Omega, yeah. Yeah, I loved this card back in the day. Uh, I, I just got off a hi uh, History of Jank episode where we played it in Battery Man. Oh, nice, nice. Ooh, that's, uh, that's not right. Let's go to Combat. Chat, do you guys know what this card does? This is not a teller monster, huh? Same deck, huh? All right, let me just hold up. I think I still have plays. So, uh, hmm, not a teller monster, which means I can't attack. And my whole turn right, was based lame. around being able to attack. So we will just go ahead and uh, we'll just go ahead and do that right there. That's step one. Um, and then, uh, we will- Oh, you get to the sub! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Plus uh, one DZ sub. Oh my gosh, my cat is just walking all across my desk right now. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go, here we go. Bro, I need the mouse back. Okay, okay, we are- fucking gaming right now is that what i'm doing with is that what i'm doing right now i kind of i kind of want to yeah 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 activate oh shit yeah. um yeah activate uh-huh that's fine fuse these two. Oh, albion albion oh fuck. or lubelion lubelion sorry yeah, active effect. Oh, Jesus Christ. Discard? I mean, there's just no way, right? There's just no way what? That you have Mirror Jade. I feel like if so... it was Mirror Jade, you'd just like, fucking windmill slam it. Oh, fuck. That's a UR into a UR. I was. Not we got guy. it! <laughs> we are. We're just dead. We're toast. No, it's, right. um, not good. Chad, I want to use this this special ability that I have. That's fine. Attack. <laughs> what the fuck are your back row? <laughs> A little better. What the fuck? Hold the Beast King unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing around columns, are you? Big boy! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! You know what the worst part is? Now every time I play Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm gonna have to like play around Beast King Unleashed. <laughs> I didn't know that they just made every once per a turn at the camp. start of the damage step. If your monster battles and monsters in the same column, oh, okay. So only the two monsters have to be in the same column. It just happened to be that the trap was also in the same column. Also I thought everything had to be the same column, and I was like, how the fuck? Wow, that is incredible that I... <laughs> that That's just not nice. It's a hard choice. I think it is this one, though. Expulsion? Retribution. Retrib so the problem here, chat, is that I have a really easy way to make a rank 4. I might need there that aren't to, generic was, rank 4s. Right, yeah, that's always the tricky part about those types of archetypes in sealed environments like this, because you just got what's in the pack. Unless you're right, really, it really lucky. It does not matter. I, I figured it out. Uh, we're going to flip up Satellar Nova Wave, a card that my chat told me I should not be playing because they're fucking dummies, and I'm very smart. Oh, just a free extender? That seems crazy. If you wouldn't mind. Go Wave here. Uh, um, yep. Gonna summon a knuckle eye. Um, uh, we're gonna trigger a knuckle eye. Yeah, that's fun. I will bin a guy. I, who cares? You know. Oh, what's up, Gage? Uh, 
How about how about this guy? I think this guy is like decent. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll just send this guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so happy about this card. Is it a gnarly? Wow, dude! I hope you pull uh, like a royal rare. Altair as well, you know, just you get to use yeah, yeah, <laughs> the rest yeah. of the series. That is a very cool roller rare, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this deck is so hard, dog. All right, uh, we're gonna go. Oh, is Gage here? Gage is in your chat. Yeah, you're activating Tiki Curse, man. I pulled um the other Tiki and I considered playing it. Yeah. Soul. What could you make right here? Gage knows. Gage knows what I'm about to make. We could make 5,100 damage. Yeah, we could just go to combat. Yeah, I will floodgate that one. Damn, that's rough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's 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 a not... But if I don't, you can go into a mega, draw a card. Man, the the, uh, the columns right, mattering right columns, there. Man. That's, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. Yeah. I was planning on making Delteros, and now I just have to do this. Snore. We'll go ahead and step. Okay. Yeah, we probably misplayed there by summoning the Tiki Curse main phase. We should have done it at the end of that chain, because if you floodgate the Tiki Curse, it goes back to the back row. And because, like, you would floodgate the second monster, I could summon the Tiki Curse later to wield the Beast King Unleashed. That was a that was a misplay. I okay, I understand what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just won't summon the same column. I just won't summon the same column. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'll go second again. Go second again. So this is this is a weird one. Um, do you have Lubellian and Mirror Jade? I do. Yeah. So that's do. pretty good, dog. That is it's, not terrible. It's all right. Yeah, I see now that like in hindsight, I should have maybe left. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Kind of forgot I put this card on my deck. Okay, we're just gonna go a knuckle eye. Okay. Mm. Uh, we're gonna send. And ab. Yep. Go one, two. Okay. All right. So, could I make an impassioned plea? If you're gonna summon Mirror Jade, could you please do it in the column immediately <laughs> opposite? I'm not gonna lie. I didn't see no okay. branded fusion though. Doing all right. Let's uh. Okay. Summon Clock Wyvern. Clock Wyvern's fine. Let's attack. Uh, am I missing something? Sure. Okay, get that out of there. He's not missing something. And, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh... <laughs> just set those, set those. Go, go ahead, go uh -huh. ahead. Go ahead. I'm not worried, I'm not worried. Your, your deck can't... OTK, like it's gonna take you a sec to do some damage. Did you open agreed, Altair? Agreed. Go wave. Okay, wave, yep. Tellers, so Tellers, uh, not the, wow, it's not the same. Wow. Not Constella, see, it's okay, not, I'm glad wow. at least you're figuring it out because I was like, these are not the same arc, they both do say oh, Teller. Oh, wow, okay. But, um, uh, yeah. No, they're they're two completely different archetypes. Two completely well, different archetypes. I just archetypes, played them yeah. thinking they were the same archetype. You can make the Xyz with both of them. You can yeah. make the Xyz with both of them, but that's it. Yeah. All right. You were uh, playing battle oh, pack oh, rules with the. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Also, yeah, 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 yeah. all Actually, tellers are. Constellers. Okay, let's just get that out of the way, and then we'll go this. Okay. Oh, <laughs> another kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, it's. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just can't let you like get anywhere. I'm gonna normal summon Steel Swarm Caller. I don't want any yeah. <laughs> peanut gallery comments. Uh, you know, we, we all do what we have to. This isn't a, a, a teller, it's my own evil swarm. Oh. <laughs> uh, can you put him back, please? <laughs> Brother! <laughs> I thought we were L Swarm friends. Did you? Uh, I, I never, God. never, ever made that clear. Holy shit. Draw. Can we draw something good? No. Wow, we really can't. All right. Well. Uh, wow, that really does not do anything. 
Okay. Well, I'm not playing more of it. All right. Uh, Constellar Star Chart. Yeah. Uh, normal Kaos. Okay. Iki Soul. Oh my gosh. This is Deltaros. It is Deltaros! You know and you're not going to draw a card, Deltaros! right? <laughs> what? Card's crazy. Yep. That's, that's pretty fucking good. Uh, we'll detach, I guess, Kaos. You know, theoretically, Kaos could come back later. Yeah. Got him. Oh shit, that's a card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an interesting card. Okay, this draw. I'm like, control. so many draws, you know, that get me into the game, you know. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> we got time, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got time, we got time. Um, draw Altair, then you're dead. Oh, God, 53. Yeah, I'll do it for the deck then. Normal summon Blaze Man. <laughs> Actually, did you get this from the pack? Yeah. Well, no, from like, yeah, like the mat, yeah, like outside the pack, yeah. That's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That is not terrible. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Don't, don't draw all tear. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I didn't. Uh, we'll go Delteros here. Yeah. Pop in that one. Okay. Are you serious? Get it? Because his name is serious. <laughs> yeah. There you go. What a great monster. Like Pot of Avarice? Yeah, but one. Okay. All right, here you go. Okay, okay. It's fine. It, there's like so many draws that let me play the game right here. We're really good. Okay. I'm going to go reveal Ecclesia. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a pretty good draw. I'll say that. <laughs> That's a decent one, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll That's take that. I'll take that. One. Um, let's summon it over here because now we're playing around attacking columns because that's uh, the world that we live in. This one is just a little bit better. <sighs> Wait, what? You uh, <laughs> oh. you didn't tribute Deltros? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He's going to the graveyard eventually. Okay, okay. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm dead. Wait, 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 no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. See? Okay! Yeah. But you feel pretty silly right about now. <laughs> oh, okay, now I feel pretty silly. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say, I, you, I can kill that one. Yeah, no, we're fine, we're good, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. <laughs> um... <laughs> go Del Toro here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we'll pop this. What rarity is alpha, by the way? It's just a super, right? Yeah, okay. Not too uh, bad, not too bad. Now, you, you were a little concerned about that alpha. I think you should be concerned about this alpha. Never seen this card in my life. Um, right, uh, it makes my, uh, my Delteros a Towers. Okay. I can see how that would be good. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we'll draw, we'll draw. Okay. Normal summon? Oh, that's a that's a good one. Yep. That's really good. Yep. 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 Oh, you have yep. Yep. Fusion. Yep. Yep. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, we're gaming oh, out oh, here today. Shit. Oh no. Um yeah, let's go fusion. Um Oh my god, I should have saved the alpha for that. Go for Lubellion. Yep. Activate Lubellion. Yeah. Discard this. Um, because none of these other ones yeah, Where'd it the has poly to go? just be Oh that was the tuck. Okay. Yeah, that was the mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use the, the yeah, the mirror jade, so it's fine, it's fine. This time hundred percent, it's fine. I promise, chat, I promise. This time there, there's no attacking into whatever that unleashed the beast card was. <laughs> That is true. There is no unleashed. Because, like, that's why last time I shuffled the Elbaz back, because I was like, oh, it's going to go back regardless. But, yeah, not the case. Not the case. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Expulsion. That's good. Yeah. Or retribution, rather. 
Whatever it is. And then I am actually just going to pass. I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, because then you live till next turn. Um, oh, chat, you're right. Yeah, if I if I did play the branded opening still, I could have... Uh, branded opening with no targets. I could have sent that to crash the Mirror Jade and let it survive. That is right, a good uh, point. You know, la -da -dee, la -da -do, la -da -dum. Yeah. So mm. I still have to do it just to put the card in grave. And then I think we're going for... Sprint. Yep. And then, yeah, I mean, I'll target yours because I'm not banishing my own guy. Right. Okay. Hope we are right. gaming. We are gaming. <laughs> Holy Indeed we shit. Are. Wow. I can't believe I whiffed that alpha. The yoinky splinky. Yeah. Right, we'll go Delteros summon. This is going to really surprise you here. Uh, Altair. Yeah. Makes sense. Altair effect. Grab Deneb. Oh, I didn't realize we could get Delteros. Yeah, yeah, that was like one of the old fun things to do. And that effect is not once per turn. So we could get Delteros, walk in a kit, do seven plus, that's what, eight, right? Eight plus seven, that's lethal. Yeah, you should... In defense position. <laughs> no, you realized it. Fuck. Okay, we learn. We learn more every day. Chuck. Oh we man, really, I was like, please really summon the Delta. <laughs> I was this close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, know, man. Uh, okay. God, this is fucking. Cr what a game this has been. This this has been a stinker for sure. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Crash. Yep. You have to do that so you don't get branded fusion again, though you might anyway. Uh, okay, uh, now we go. Chat wants me to make another Deltero, so I have terrible news about my pulls. <laughs> I think we're big chilling. They just wanted you to uh, revive it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go for this. Do the board? SM Orc? Mmm. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so let's go uh, activate retribution. Yes. Target the branded fusion. There it is. There it is. I don't think there's a way to put that back at the moment. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's activate branded fusion. Mm hmm. Um, so you still have Lubellion. The horrifying possibility that you have two Mirror Jades. What is uh, Mirror Jades typing worm? Oh, worm. wait. Oh. What do you Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, let's send uh, this. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay. Because Elbaz, the, the, uh, the dragon in deck is not Elbaz. It's only, yeah, Field or Grave. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So we'll do these. Okay. Some. Yeah, we've seen this guy already. Yep, he's been around. Activate effect. Get rid of this. Hitch branded in white. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's why it's not the right choice. Oh, okay, okay. There's, there's not a, there's not an Albion chat. We, we, he had a really good Albion game one and just didn't go for it. Yeah, I think I'm doing this one. Summon this guy. Then we'll go this to set. I, I don't know. I think it's this. I think I should have played <laughs> more copies of Retribution. But, yeah. Oh, well. Happens. <sighs> okay. Do I do this to not die? Hmm. Yeah. Wave. Yep. Yeah. I think like my here. one saving grace is that I'm not sure if you actually have like a way to deal with these cards anymore. I mean, you might, you might. Um, at the Altair. We'll see, oh we'll God. see. Chatting, legitimate chatting. Okay, go ahead. 
and then activate printed bond. Set it that. was the only way, chat. It was legitimately the only way. Cat. Oh, now it is not the only way. Altair. Yeah. That's the Couldn't last that. one, right? Yep. Okay. This is the last one. Oh, except one, two. Oh. Knuckleye. What? You can't possibly defeat my Knuckleye. But. No, yeah, that. Okay. No, I, I'll just see where you're going with it. I'll see where you're going with it. Here? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. It's fine, it's uh, fine, this... it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I think we actually screwed up, chat, by not using Wave to summon the, uh, tro the, uh, Guy, we did just throw lethal here. <laughs> he's got a turn. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. He's got, it's he's fine. got Mirror Jade and Lubellion back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the weirdest thing about this game that I did not understand or that I didn't <clears throat> realize would happen until this. No, I actually think I had this one if I played a second copy of Retribution to send um, right there at the end instead of sending the Branded Bond. Because then I could have reset Branded Fusion. I had all the combo reset into my extra deck. That would have been crazy. Oh, well. That would have been absolutely This was a good wild. game, though. This was, like, really was, good. No, yeah, back was, and forth. Like, it was wild. I, uh, this didn't come up. I'm really sad it didn't come up. So I pulled Triple Tactics Talent. And oh! I pulled M7. So if you activated, like, Omega and I had Tactics, I could have stolen it oh, and then overlaid on top of it. Would have been the craziest shit ever. Oh, buddy. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so why- I guess I see why you went for the Trevor now, because you went for the Anuke. I think you should have went for the, uh, the Pot of Avarice guy, right? <laughs> uh, did I have five? Yeah! Yeah, because you can- you can shuffle back, uh, That's it was like Altair, Altair, Deltaros, and then, uh, the Anuke, and then there was one other. GG's! Man, what a fun episode! GG's. Those were close! Those were fun!